Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for another episode of Stock vs. Tuned. Now this is going to be our first Stock vs. Tuned of Update 9 and because of that we are going to be running the brand new 2018 Mini JCW Convertible, uh, obviously stock and then tuned, against a stock Aston Martin Vanquish. So this should be a very interesting episode, it's going to be an all British episode and before we do anything... Obviously, first, we're going to take the Vanquish out to the highway and run its stock and see what it will do. But once we move over to the Mini, I'm actually going to show you guys what you have to do to get the Mini, just in case you don't already have it. So, without any further ado, let's jump out onto the highway and see how the Aston Martin does. That sound is just insane. It's just such a wicked sound, but yet so smooth. It almost sounds classical in a way. It doesn't have that, it doesn't have kind of that almost like scream or howl that the Lamborghinis or the Ferraris do, but it, it's still, it almost, like I said, it sounds very classic. It sounds very, it sounds like a very like sophisticated, sophisticated engine sound. Like it sounds like something that, like a sound that would come out of a car that is just like exqui both, both exquisite and expensive is what it sounds like. Easy. Oh. The thing is, if I put it in third, it bogs out. It starts to bog out anyway. It wouldn't. It wouldn't maintain a slide around that roundabout if I kept it in. Uh, if I kept it in third. All right. So let's try a launch control. Oh, it works. And three, two, one, go. Little bit of a spin into second, but not much. Already crossing 100 miles an hour now. Into fourth, 120. Come on, 130. There's 140. Still very much flat. That's fifth, 160. 164.8, so 164 miles an hour to beat for that little uh, mini JCW convertible. So that little thing is definitely gonna be interesting. It's quicker than you might think it is. I've driven it a little bit stock already, but I haven't come out here to the highway with it yet. So this is gonna be a brand new experience for me, and we're gonna see what it can do both stock and tuned. It's actually got a nice little burble to the exhaust. And it almost, it almost does that little, like, that little, uh, that little, like, shift fart that, like, that, that the dual clutch cars and then some of the modern, just normal automatic cars do. Like, if you listen, you'll hear it if I can get the shifts right. See, that's the thing. You have to get the shifts right for the car to do it, but if you do, it actually sounds like it. Come on! Yep, that was perfect. Okay, so as you can hear, it actually does make those little shift uh, shift pops, and it kind of sounds cool. I mean, like, it's it's not necessarily a standout feature or anything, but it's still kind of cool that it does it. So I'm going to bet that this thing will be somewhere in the 130s range. And go! Come on. Wow, the gap between second and third is absolutely huge. Like, it's this massive gap, and I have no idea why they chose to make the gearing like that. There's 100. There's 110. Come on. Whoa, come on, 120. Oh, 129. So 129 stock, almost 130 pretty impressive actually for this little car I mean especially with the horrible aerodynamics that come from the roof being off but this thing should be a really interesting car to tune and oh I want to see if it'll do a row nut that, that's always like it's 
always a question. That's it, like if a front wheel drive car can do one of these, a reverse donut. That's that's what makes it good, right? That's what makes it. That's what makes it a worthwhile front wheel drive car, right? Always. All right. Now it's time to head back to the shop. So the first thing that I want to make clear to you guys about this car is that the only engine swap option is the turbo rally engine. But you know what? I am not going to use it because I have used it too much. And I, even I am accepting that at this point. I have used that engine too much and I am pretty much done using it. And let me see real quick. I want to do a race weight reduction while I'm in here. I wonder what the roll bar looks like. I'm super curious. It, oh, it is actually a full cage. That's hilarious looking. That is actually really hilarious looking. All right, so we're doing a race clutch, race transmission. We're going all out with this thing. All out except the turbo rally engine swap. So let's go ahead and... Oh, yep, definitely going to fix the offset because it looks really goofy right now. There we go. There we go. That looks so much better. So much better. Now we need to put some actual proper tires on it. I'm debating on whether or not I want to do a drag tire. I think I... Mm, I think I want to do a race tire. I think a race tire would just suit this car better. 235s are what we're going to be able to fit max, which is a pretty good size. I mean, for a car this small and this light, I would say that's acceptable. And... Oh, God. You know what? You know what? It's, it's so weird that I might actually be okay with it. I've never run these on anything before, except for, like, maybe one car that I was just trying something weird on. But I kind of think they look good here. I mean, they look different, but sometimes different looks cool. So we're going to fully build the stock engine, fully build it out. And I don't know if that will allow us to beat the Aston Martin, but I've, like I said, I have used that Turbo Rally engine so freaking much that I want to try a new approach, and this car deserves to have its stock engine fully built. So, let's get everything done, and that brings us out to 498 horsepower and 458 foot-pounds of torque, weighing in at 2469. So, really light car, right under 500 horsepower, and honestly, I think it should be a blast. I really think it'll be a really fun car, and there's only one way to find out. Let's head to the highway. Still sounds angry. Still definitely sounds angry. Oh, God. Yeah, it's wild now. I mean, it is a 2,500-pound car with 500 front-wheel horsepower. I mean, give it a break. It's it's going to be wild. Oh, that was weird. Does it still do a little shift pops? Kind of. Not really, though. Yeah, not really. With the race clutch and the race flywheel, it doesn't do them anywhere near as much, but... Oh! <laughs> I love how you can just go to, like, 90 degrees and then just floor it and bring it back. That's just hilarious to me how it'll do that. All right, so I'm thinking I'm going to do a launch control start in second gear. Because if I do it in first, it's just going to blow the tires off completely. I haven't touched the gearing. I haven't touched anything else. Come on. There we go. And what's our boost sitting at? Holy crap, we're already at 29 pounds of boost. Jeez. Three, two, one, go. Oh, God. Okay, that was a fail. Um, I'm trying that again because I tried to get a clean start and I ended up bogging out. And go. Come on, just stay in it. God, it laid rubber on the road for, like, all the way out to, like, 85 miles an hour. That's hilarious. 140. 150. Oh, I think we're going to make it. Oh, we're going to have it. Dude, we're so going to have it. Oh, yes. 173. Woo. Well, that's fast. Like, that is that is properly fast for what it is. I mean, and I haven't even barely done any tuning on it. I, well, really, I haven't done any tuning on it at all. I just threw parts at this thing. I just threw parts at this thing, and that's it. It still makes the shift pops just a little bit. Let me see if I can get it to do it again. 
Every time I try to, like, actually get it to do it, it won't do it, which is annoying. But this is hilariously fun for what it is. 180! Oh my god, 180 miles an hour in a convertible Mini. That sounds terrifying. That sounds absolutely freaking terrifying. And sketchy. That Ford Focus didn't even know what was coming. This, like, bye. And keep in mind, we're going uphill, too. So this thing would probably do, like, between 185 and 190 without making any gearing adjustments. But, man, I really like this car. This car is hilarious, and it's one of the most fun cars that I think I've built so far. It's just, like, so surprising. But hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.